Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and welcome to Biology no Essential. No cool life is all over me when you're in Gmail and Google life and the Facebook. And what I thought I'd do is start with some analogies. I'll show you how I can Hi, everyone. Like, and how those communications Open are similar to the community. Open up and open up right there. I can't believe So let's first of all start with the posting. Sorry, I'm late. My phone is so long. Yes, it is. Your internet and your friend's connection. And hand it specifically to someone. You're an internet connection. So, for example, let's say I have a grocery list. I write down the things that you need at home. No one has to my to son me. and I say, please no, get these things at the store, he can I'm always check on the list right to make sure there. it's matching up with All right the there. things that we have to Someone, you are everyone it works for great, her? but you have to no. hand it off from one person to What the hell are you doing? Next is the that. email. Um, so internet. Gmail works great for me. You're if really I want to send a, a message to a we student, a specific choice. student, then I send an uh, email. Works great because I can send it to a specific student. Like uh, I don't have to physically be next to that person to send I think it. To the and then the last one would be a Facebook a like a, I don't do many I status updates, email. but if I were to post this, Facebook. I um, a Facebook so status post like is not going to one person, it's going to I'm all not of my friends, I and so then they can determine this is the person uh, I have to right there. Like all right here. here. I have to, uh, not enough for one day. So those are this three is ways not that enough for one day. This is not really are you are similar right. to the ways that cells can work. There's and so the first one is when there's no distance here. between cells. I'm not well, really young. have to make sure a message Once gets you're real, is that real hacking your level? Then we yes, can use uh, cell-to-cell -cell content. Your so problem. an example I'll Stop talk about in this is the antigen. There's jingling cell in here alone. What the hell wrong with you? What the following is easy place? You will come after me or come after. I'm sorry, Karen. What's the knowledge Karen is short? Next one I'll talk about are local regulators. If it's a distance that's short, and I want to make sure that right there. one other cell. Uh, cell no problem. Cell, I could use something called a local regulator. And for example, I'll talk about is when you have a neuron connected to another neuron. No, that's not so you can send a neurotransmitter no. to make sure that message gets across. Again, it's going just from one cell to another. Really, uh, Let's say it's a right distance here. that's uh, long come or an them. audience that's large. Come you want to send that information. Uh, we could use something like a hormone. So the one I'll talk about is human growth hormone. The nice thing there's about that is you can send it from like not only just one cell, or there's excuse me, connection. not to just one there's cell, you can send it to multiple phone, cells, media? and then they can figure Nothing out based on that message media. if you really want to act on You're it or not, and that's why it's a lot right. like it. So, so let's first of all what start with a, a, a contact. So we, contact. what's words, happening? What's happening? Hey everyone, what's happening? And the example I'm using here you're is playing playing your Alice and Alice like this. You're Alice, that's me. 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 You're Alice,
antibodies can also make more memory cells. You are it's also going to activate a killer T cell. It. And killer T oh cell my God, knows that shape here. as well. No, no, it's going to target not any cell inside our body. Not corona. Not corona and so by passing that message off, just like a post-it note, this is not right. Next one is the idea of a local regulator. Now there's a distance between those two cells. But you still have to make sure that message goes across. Perfect example of this would be when neurons are connected. And so a neuron is going to take a message. So let's say I poke my finger right here. It's going to send that message eventually to the spinal cord, eventually to the brain, and right back again. So Hi, dear friends. And so that message is going to travel in this direction. And it's eventually going to hit another neuron. So it's eventually going to have to travel over here. But what's interesting is right here where those two neurons come together, they're not actually connected. Now we still want to make sure that message gets across, because we want to make sure that message keeps going all the way down here to the brain, but they're not connected. And so we have to use a local regulator to make sure that message gets across. The example would be a neurotransmitter. And so that message is coming down, neuron A, and it's going to move down, neuron B. But the way it works is that we're actually going to release chemicals, those are called neurotransmitters, they'll move across that synapse or across that gap. They're going to open up some other channels, which is eventually going to get an influx of ions and it's eventually going to send that message on its way. And so these right here, neurotransmitters, uh, are chemicals. And those chemical signals are going to float right across that gap. Now they're not really going to float out to another uh, neuron. They're quickly going to break down. And so it's just like an email. It's a message going from this cell to this cell. Now you might think, if you're smart, you might think, what's the point of that? In other words, wouldn't it be smarter to just have those two neurons connected together so the message is going to go across quicker? That's a really good question. And what we think, scientists think, is that by opening it up, by allowing these local regulators to go across, it gives us control over how much of that signal gets through, if it gets through, if we can block the signal so it doesn't get across. And so we think that, that our brains have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger by adding more neurons, but probably what's more important than adding more neurons is the, adding these connections between neurons. Uh, let me give you an example of this. I'm a distance runner, and so I love these uh, beta endorphins. Endorphins are natural opiates made by your body. And what they do is they block pain. And so if you go for a run, here's a Paula Radcliffe, she's a, a marathon runner. If you go for a run and you're out there for 10 minutes, you won't feel these, or 40 minutes, you won't feel these, but an hour, a couple hours in, if you're out there for two hours, if you can make it that long, your body is going to start secreting these beta endorphins, and those are neurotransmitters. They'll move into uh, nerves in your central nervous system. What they'll do is they'll block pain. And so even though the signal is actually of pain is traveling into your brain from your, from your body, it really hurts to run that far. You're actually breaking it, um, that connection. And it shows, shows you how it's important to have control over that synapse. Now, humans have created uh, things that mirror this. And so heroin or morphine, they really resemble the structure of endorphins because they're going to trigger the same responses inside your brain. The last thing I want to talk about is that Facebook status post. When you want to send a message and it's going to go to everybody and they're going to figure out how to act on that. An example I'll talk about would be, I mean, this is a hormone that we're not talking about. A hormone is simply going to be a chemical and that chemical is going to spread throughout your whole body. And so an example of one would be the growth hormone. The growth hormone is especially going to be secreted by the pituitary as a human goes through uh, puberty. And so as your body gets larger and larger and larger, the way that works is we secrete a growth hormone. The cells are going to pick it up. So for example, muscles will grow, bones will grow. Um, and here's actually a list of all the things that will happen uh, as we increase the amount of uh, growth hormone. So for example, all of the organs will grow, but the brain won't grow. And we'll get glucogenesis in the liver or uptake of glucose or uh, it stimulates the immune response. In other words, all of these cells in your body are receiving that same message from human growth hormone, but they're acting on that. And so that's like that status post. It goes to everybody, but you can choose to like it or ignore it or act as a result of that. 
Sometimes the message will go out of control. And so this is Robert Wadlow. Robert Wadlow is a pituitary giant. And the reason he was a pituitary giant, we now know, is that he had a tumor that was pushing on his pituitary gland. As a result of that, he created more human growth hormone and more human growth hormone and more human growth hormone. And you can see that he was, I don't know, yeah, well over eight feet tall. Um, and so this is just a hormone and it's acting on all the cells in your body. And so when the distance is large and you want to touch a lot of different cells, um, you're going to use something like a hormone. And so that's how cells communicate. It's not that different from the way that we communicate. Uh, you just have to know your audience and send a message that's appropriate. So I hope that's helpful.